Hello, I'm Cedric from the Copernicus Marine User Support. Thank you for watching this video. Its subject is how to preview data from Copernicus Marine Data Portal. The Copernicus Marine Service Viewer is the entry point for visualizing oceanographic data. It is directly linked to the catalog website. So, first of all, you have to select your product of interest. To select this product, you can go on the menu Service Portfolio and click on Access to Product. You will reach the catalog and for this session, I will choose the Global Analysis Physical Product. I click in the title to reach the product information page. In this page, on the right, you have a View Product button to reach the viewer. So I click on it. A new tab opens to the viewer. In the left column, you will find the, the, the product identifier with a link to its product information page and all the datasets of this product. By developing a dataset, you will have access to the list of the variables it contains. You just have to choose one to display it. For example, I have displayed the temperature. At the top of the window, there is a specific cartouche with the name of the variable and the unit, the date, the depth level, and the name of the dataset. At the bottom of the screen, the geographical position follows the movement of the cursor. If you keep the cursor still, the value of the variable appears. You can zoom out and in in a classic way, either with the plus and minus buttons here or with the scroll wheel. Note that the color palette will automatically adjust to the area. All the menus can be hidden by clicking on the associated arrow. For example, I will hide all the menus. And here you can export your view in a PNG format clicking on the download PNG here. A tool offering additional feature is available by clicking on the button Advanced Tool. That you will find two different tools, one for the entity product and another one for the other products, which I will detail now. Here you can retrieve product information if you click on the button information on the right. It will bring, bring up a window containing information of the product. The exact information shown will vary from a provider to provider, but typical information includes data provenance, relevant copyright information, accuracy, etc. A dataset and variable are selected by default, and to select a different dataset variable, click on the drop down list titled Dataset. For this session, I will choose the daily means of this product, and then click on the field variable to select your variable of interest. Here, I will choose the seawater potential temperature. I auto adjust my color range and finally my variable temperature for the global area is now displayed. If the depth dimension is associated to this dataset, you can change the depth clicking in the drop down list depth and you can move your depth and you can also your 
left or right arrow to move steps. It's the same thing for time dimension. If the data set is associated to time dimension, you can change the time of the data set. It's not the case for the daily, but you can move to the all limits and select the seawater potential temperature. I have to auto adjust my color scale. And here in the list, I have the different time steps of the data sets. So I can choose one. And same thing, I can move using my left, left or right arrows to move from time step to another one. Now that all your criteria are selected, you can go to the map itself. To move around the map, there are several options. You can use the navigational panel to move and to zoom. And if the hand tool is selected, it is selected by default and it is indicated by an orange background, you can click the mouse and dragging to move and scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out. If you click on the globe, you will come back to the initial area. Additionally, if the shift key is held down, a rectangle can be drawn on the screen by clicking and dragging. This will cause the map to zoom to the specified rectangle. To get detailed information about the point, with the hand tool selected, click on the data field will bring up further information about the data. You will find here the position of your point here, the time, and of course the value of the field. If appropriate, two functionalities are available, vertical profile plot and time series plot. To show you, to show you these uh, two functionalities, I'm going to move the, the daily dataset and to the seawater potential temperature. For example, I select this point. So I have the value of the temperature at, at this point and I, I want a vertical profile plot now. So I click on the link and I have the evolution of the temperature with the depth for this point. Now, if I click on the time series plot, I select, select the start date. For example, I'm going to take the, the, the 10th of May until the 19th of May. So I plot and I have the, I have the evolution at this point the evolution of the temperature rather regarding the time. If I want to plot now a transect, firstly, I have to select the transect tool here. I select it. Then I select my first point, my second point, and my last point. I double click and you can see the evolution of the parameter displayed all along the transect. Now, let's see how to change the style of the data display. To change the background, background map and the projection, the background layer selection menu can be accessed by clicking the plus button here. By selecting a background map with a different projection, for example, North Polar, all data will be projected and plotted. You can also add 
or not the grid of the data. To change the color palette, click just once on the main color bar. This will bring up a dialog box which allows further refinement of the palette settings. Note that if you want to choose a different color bands, number of color bands, you have to, to modify this field before selecting your palette. For example, I take 100 and now I can change my palette clicking on the color bar I want. And now my map is updated. The data layer can be represented by box fill or contour way. Box fill option selected will show all the color of the graph cells. Contour option shows the color lines levels. The opacity of the data layer can be changed by using the opacity selection box and choosing the diode option. For example, I want an opacity at 50%. I select I value, avail availate, and I see the map updated. I come back to 100% opacity. Now, if I want to adjust the upper and lower limits of the scale, so I put the value I want in the boxes. For example, I will add, for example, 30 and 10. I can validate my value using the return key or just click outside of the box. And now my data is updated. The scale limits can also be automatically adjusted by clicking the auto palette button here. The scaling can be set to linear, it's selected by default, or logarithmic by selecting the appropriate option from the drop down box. Note that logarithmic scaling cannot be selected if either of the scale limits less or equal than zero, it's our case here. By clicking the log scale button, the scale will become closed, locked. This means that if you change to a different variable, the same scale will be used. This will also disable the scale entry boxes, the auto scale button, and the linear and logarithmic selector. To unlock, you just have to click again on the button. Now we move below the map. With the first button, it will be possible to make an animation. For example, I take a zoom at the north of Atlantic and I click on this button. I have to select our start and end times, so I will let the 10th of May and the 15th of May. Then I can choose the granularity and the frame rate, and then I click on go. And here is the animation on my directly. To close the animation, I can click on the cross button. The second button will come back to the original area. You can share your data now. There are several options. The first link, you will download a KML file which can be used to view the data in Google Earth. The permalink provides a hyperlink which can be used to return to the current state of the data, that is dataset, variable, palette, zoom, etc. This hyperlink is located in the URL bar. The export to PNG provides a downloadable PNG file with a plot of the data. This image contains the plot alongside all the pertinent information about in a compact layout, which can be included in a publication. This is subject to any copyright restrictions on the data. To save the map on your hard drive, all you have to do is right click and then select Save Picture As from the contextual menu. 
and the last link available is the link to the user guide where you will find all the information given in this video. This is where this video ends after this last few details. You do not need to be registered to access this viewer. However, if you wish to download our data, you will need to open an account following the link hello sign in here. As a reminder, access and use of data on Copernicus Marine Service is free of charge, whatever the application. Thank you for your attention and do not hesitate to contact us if you have any question by following the contact us link here. And feel free to check our technical FAQ page. Thank you.